how you so you believe in God and you go to the Christian church that reads out the Bible, but you don't believe in the words in the Bible? How does that even make sense? It's my interpretation. How does that make sense? Can you get Second Peter one and twenty? Make her interpret it then. Yeah. And so what? So interpret that. When he said he hates Esau, what does that mean to you? It when the God of the Bible said, I love Jacob, he loved one person, and I hated Esau, a juxtaposition, how do you interpret that? It Please help me. that more than one thing can exist at the same time. Okay, so what is the more than one thing that can exist? You can have straight people and gay people. What the <laughs> how the hell does that verse talk about gay people? No, it means that one thing oh, can on, exist. Hold on, hold on. Get a 1 Corinthians 6. Done. This is 1 Corinthians yeah. 6 and 9 in the GNT in the New Testament. And it says, Surely done. Surely you know that the wicked will not possess God's kingdom. So the Bible says the New Testament, which a lot of you believe in, it says that the wicked will not possess God's kingdom. Go ahead. Do not fool yourselves. People who are immoral or who worship idols or who are idolaters. Or homosexual, or, or, or what? Or homosexual punks. I'm always keeping tabs on some shit. I've been watching all your actions and shit. Hey, I try to be like Malachi 3 and 6. So I always got a script in my clip. Uh, whoa, whoa. Maybe they don't know. There's a reason why people in the street chasing the weed and cocoa. There's a reason why women in the strip club going after bozos. Hey, hey, they gotta see the bigger. What? what? Gun You're having an anti gun violence? Yeah. Anti what, why? In response to shooting in Texas. Shooting in Texas? Wasn't there a shooting in Buffalo? Why not for that one? Uh, for Buffalo? We here every week too. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You're, so obviously you're against crime, right? You're against violence, right? I'm against, very against violence, but I have to go. I spent a lot of time organizing this, so I have to go. There's a lot of people. It says gays against guns. We're gays against guns. Okay, so you're. F <laughs> All right. <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> it's gay to six. Right, and people talk about it's gays against guns. How is gay going to stop it? Like, both things stop the reproduce of black and Hispanic peoples. What? Bus pipe on the what? light. What? what? People, listen. Black and Hispanic got to understand that being a homosexual is destruction to your societies. You're stopping your societies from being able to reproduce. Get, get all of that. You're stopping. Hey, 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 I, they want us to vote, right? But they want black and Hispanics to vote for one devil over another devil. They both devils. Give me Deuteronomy 17. They both devils, and, and the white man ne doesn't love the black and Hispanic community. Give me, give me um Judith um five and twenty, please, because the, and nineteen. The black, pe the black and Hispanic uh, um people have to understand that the white man is not for you. The white man does not care about you. No matter how much efforts they try to show that they care, they do not care about the black and Hispanics because they know when they get us to serve, we are um and gun violence. Yeah, we, and we're anti and gun violence. How about you talking about anti violence? But and you are benefiting from the rape, rob, and violence of the white man for 500 plus years. Working on stolen property, talking about anti-violence. If you really wanted anti-violence and you wanted to stop white people from shooting black people, all white people will get the f out of America and go back to the Caucasus Mountains where they came from. You talk to talk about you want black people to join this um this thing. What is this gonna? How doing a a rally in Times Square gonna help anything that happened in Buffalo or Tech? Nigga, go to Texas. Go to Buffalo. Read the Bible. And, uh... Verse 14. When thou art come in unto the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee, and shalt possess it, and shalt dwell therein, and shalt say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are round about me, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren. It says what? One from among thy brethren. Among who? 
from, from among thy brethren. The Bible says when you vote for somebody to be a ruler over you, it has to be from somebody of your brethren, of your kindred, the people of your nation. Not the white, they want us to vote for one white man over another white man. One person benefited from the black and Hispanic atrocities over another person benefited from the black and Hispanic atrocities. Go ahead. And it, go, go ahead. this is First Corinthians 3 and 21. So don't boast about following a, a particular human leader. For everything belongs to you. For what? Everything belongs to you. Everything belongs to the most. And look, we got to understand that we're not supposed to be worried about one particular leader. What has voting ever done for the black and Hispanic communities? Please somebody tell me one person that has done anything to benefit the black and Hispanic communities. Nothing. There's nothing that voting has brought black and Hispanics but more um, um, poverty and more mass incarceration and more deaths. Every year, the death of black and Hispanic just gets higher with each white devil we vote for. That's why the most I said we're not even supposed to be voting for these people in the first place. But you want to support um, groups that are most predominantly Caucasian when you should be going in the hood and helping our people with the gun violence. They're not doing this for the just regular black people shooting people for gun violence. Where was this when the nigga uh, came from? I'm not going to say that. But where was this when niggas were getting shot in the hood? Why you ain't going to the hood and say stop gun violence? But now you got to wait till something so big that's so mass media to finally be like, you know what? Gun violence is actually bad. But but the white man wasn't thinking about gun violence being bad when they were shooting black and Hispanics in the street. When they're still shooting black and Hispanics in the street till this day. Go ahead. Go on. This is a Lamentations 417 in the GNT. For help that never came. We Lamentations 417, GNT. For help that never came. We looked until we could look no longer. It said, the Bible says that the black and Hispanics had been looking for help from other people until we can't even look no more. How I know, Con, How long had the black and Hispanics been looking for this nation, looking for America to help us as a people? It's been oh, it's been hundreds of years. Um, they say oh we got out of slavery in 1865. It's almost 200 years. 200 years and we still getting shot down the street. We still the majority in the jail systems. We right. still the majority in the poverty line. Hey, Mr. Yo, 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 yo. Right, go ahead. Go on. And it says, we kept waiting for help from a nation that had none to give. It said, we kept waiting for help from a nation, the nation of people, the white men, the Caucasians, a nation of people that had none help to give. What happened to the 40 acres in the mule? What happened to that? Where that at? But they say, you know what? Jim Crow laws, boom, put you in jail for loitering. Put you in jail for taking nails out of out of the walls. Find every little thing to put you back into slavery. Find every little thing to put you back into um the jail system. Label you as a felon so that way when you try to go get a job, you can't get a job because they don't hire felons. That's right. Go ahead. This is Sirach 12 and verse 10. And the CEV, never trust your enemies. The Bible says never trust your enemies. Go ahead. He said he's, Even on our, he's on our side. I was a civil rights demonstrator. Civil rights demonstrator? All praise, all praise. And, and and this is this is what we need to this is what this is the truth. The only rally that black and Hispanics need to um um come to. Not things like this. This is not helping um the majority of black and Hispanics. Because the white man is not gonna stop shooting black people. No matter how hard the white man tries, the black, the white man will not stop killing their enemies, the people that they see less of them, the people they look at as spittle. That's why the Bible says never trust your enemy. Why don't we trust the people that's um constantly trespassing on stolen property? That's How right. can you trust somebody that's on stolen property? I don't understand. Everyone wants to say that white people are good now, they're cool, they can come to the cookout because they nigga know us a little baby song. Uh, you are my, give me the Bible, you are my enemy. You are my enemy. I am your enemy. I am though. I am though. I am though. Sarah 12 and 12, C and B. Don't make them, why am I not your enemy? You're a human being. Let me ask you a question. Is Russia an enemy of Ukraine? Is Russia an enemy of Ukraine? Because Russia, because, because Russia instituted that they are their enemies, right? I'm letting you know that I'm your enemy, therefore I am your enemy. Right. What's your nationality? I'm What's your nationality? I'm What's your nationality? Human being. Human, human being? Human well, okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why are you on stolen property? We're all, we're Why are you on stolen property? No, no, no. I was, my forefathers were brought here. 
My poor father was born here involuntarily. That's right. Why are you on stolen property? Answer the question. Why are you on stolen property? Go ahead. That is a question. Why are you benefiting from white supremacy and telling me that you're just a human being? That's who I am. You're a, ca you're a Caucasian. That's what you are. That's what you are. You're a Caucasian who benefits from white supremacy, benefits from the rape, rob, and murder that happened to the black and Hispanic community. The only reason you're on this land is because the conquer of the Native Americans. The only reason you're standing here is because of that. How are you telling me no? It's Sirach 12 and 12. See, the, give, me, give me give me what's the Messiah in 7, um, 10 and 7. Don't don't make them your partners. Or don't what? Don't make them your partners. Don't what? Don't make them your partners. The Bible says don't make them your enemies your partners. Go ahead. Or they will push you aside and take over. Or they will do what? They will push you aside and take over. The Bible says that if you make these people your partners, they will push you aside and they will do what? They will take over. They're going to take over. That's what the white man did to the Native Americans. When they, when they came over here, they said, you know what, let's be friends. Da, da, da. The Native Americans helped them, gave them stuff, gave them resources. And what did the white man do? Stabbed their back and genocide 77 plus million Native and Hispanic people. Verse 16. They tell you how much they want to be your friend. They tell you how much they want to be your friend. Verse 16, Sarak 12 and 16, CV. They tell you how much they want to be your friends. It said they tell you how much they want to do white woman. Like, oh, I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy, lad. All the while, plotting to put you in your grave. Do what? But all the while, plotting to put you in your grave. All the, that's the white man's agenda. As a nation of people, their agenda is to thrive in America. To live that American dream. To live the American dream on what? Stolen property. Sorry, 12 and 16. CEV. Stolen property. Let's read it again. Huh. This is Psalms 83 and verse um, 3 in the, in the GNT. They, they are making secret plans against your people. They are making secret plans against your people. They are plotting against those you protect. The white man is plotting against the people that the black and Hispanics at the most high is trying to protect. Go ahead. Come, they say, let us destroy their nation so that Israel will be forgotten forever. And that's what they did to the black and Hispanics of the people. They all came to the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man. They all came together and said, you know what? Let's stop the black and Hispanic and Native and Seminole Indian people from being a nation, from being the Israelites, from being the chosen people of God. Because they wanted to be a happy coalition after destroying the black and Hispanic communities for how many years? Over and over and over again. But the black and Hispanic still to this day want to come and join together. Give me Isaiah 13, 15, 13 and 15, please. This is Proverbs 27 and 6. Friends mean well even when they hurt you. But when an enemy... Friends mean well even when they hurt you. But when an enemy puts his arm around your shoulder, watch out. Do what? Watch out. Do what? Watch out. So when the enemy, when the white man, the people that benefit from rape, rob, and murder, and genocide of the black and Hispanics put their arm around you and tell you, no, we okay, we can be friends, we can be cool. The Bible says to watch out. That's what the black and Hispanic got to watch out for. But everybody want to be on TikTok doing a dumbass hip dance, don't know what the hell is going on, don't know what the white man's agenda is, don't know what America has um, installed for the black community. You go down to the south, there's communities of white people with guns ready just to wait for a civil war to pop up between black and Hispanics. I mean, uh, black and white people. Waiting for an opportunity to just kill black people. But the black man is on their Facebook and Instagram and trying to kill their own people. Meanwhile, the white man is plotting against our nation. And all the other nations thrive off of that negativity. Yeah. Proverbs 29 and 16 in the GNT. When evil people are in power, crime increases. Say it again. When evil people are in power, crime increases. It said when evil people are in power, crime increases. The crime rate has increased in America because the white man is in power. That's right. When the black and Hispanic people are in power, there's no, they're not supposed to be killing each other in the first place. There's going to be minimal killing. When we come to the laws of God, we understand that there's orders in place. The white man has no order. They allow white people. How you going to 
How you gonna arrest calmly a white guy that just shot up 10 black people? I can have a gun. I don't even have to have a gun on me as a black man. And the, and the cops will just shoot me dead for no reason. In your head. But you wanna, it's okay. What's a nigga named Dylan Roof? Here you go, take some water. Take some water, mass murderer. I'm, good job, buddy. That's what the white man thinks about us. And that's the, pe and that's the people with the guns though. The police with the guns, but they wanna stop gun laws. Right. Nigga, I need, I need something to protect me from the white man. If, if there was, if there was a less stricter gun laws in New York, that white boy would have been dead. That white boy would not have been able. <laughs> that white boy would have not been able to, um, to be walking and be even on trial. He would be dead. This dead. And look at this, like, and this is what, uh, this is what America has allowed to go on, um, on this land. Like, give me, give me numbers thirty-five, please. Isaiah sixty-three and five. And I got it. And I looked, and there was Isaiah 63 and 5. And I looked, and there was none to help. Oh, you believe in God? Okay. How does God feel about uh, um, homosexuality? As a, as a God, as a. Do you believe in the Bible? My God loves everyone. Your God loves Who's your God? <laughs> Where, where can I where can I find your God? It's a higher power. It's I'm saying, where can I read about him or find out about him? Like, where can I learn about your God? I go to a Christian church. You go to a Christian church, so you read the Bible. Yeah. Woo! Okay, can I show you something in the Bible? No, I'm not here to like you argue you about you homosexuality. Know, I'm going to show you anyway. Give me Romans 10 and 13. <laughs> like, I'm all give me, give me, um. Like like you see, like, you're all here for what? For what? Like white people make a mess, but I'm not gonna talk against homosexuals. Why not? Both because have made a mess in the black and Hispanic communities. I know black and Hispanic homosexuals. I'm homosexual. No, no, no. homosexuality not... and white people have both been um, lowering the the rate the the, the the of being alive for black and Hispanic people, literally. Fine with your platform, I'm not gonna, I don't want to get into it. I was listening it? to like, yeah, like I'm not. No, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Guys, this is what I like, this is the problem, right? People say they believe in God, they believe in the Bible, and they go to the church. But their God just loves everybody. I want to see whose God is that, because the God of this Bible, let's see what he says. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter, Romans 9 and uh, th 13. This is Romans 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. Well, what? Esau have I hated. So the Bible says God hates Esau, but you're telling me that your God, that's the of the Bible, loves everybody. How is that so? There's a million things in the Bible. How you is can that so? All okay, let's get ways. Psalms five and five, please. How yeah. is that? Give me. Um, it's just like the Constitution. You can cherry pick anything you want, but it wasn't written for now. Yeah, we already know the Constitution was written for your people right. while it wasn't we were in slavery. For gay women. It was written. It was written for your people. It was written for your white people. people. I agree with that. Yeah. So I don't abide by that same okay. version of the Constitution. Like I don't abide by the very specifics of that Bible. This is First Corinthians six and nine. Are you be so you believe in God and you go to the Christian church that reads out the Bible, but you don't believe in the words in the Bible? How does that even make sense? It's my interpretation. How does that make sense? Can you get Second Peter one and twenty? Make her interpret it then. Yeah. And so what? So interpret that. When he said he hates Esau, what does that mean to you? It when the God of the Bible said, I love Jacob, he loved one person, and I hated Esau, a juxtaposition, how do you interpret that? It Please help me. that more than one thing can exist at the same time. Okay, so what is the more than one thing that can exist? You can have straight people and gay people. What the and they How the hell does that verse talk about gay people? <laughs> no, it means that one oh, thing Hold on, exists. hold on. Yeah. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 6. Done. This is 1 Corinthians 6 and 9 in the GNT in the New Testament. And it says, Surely, God, surely you know that the wicked will not possess God's kingdom. So the Bible said, the New Testament, which a lot of you believe in, it says that the wicked will not possess God's kingdom. Go ahead. Do not fool yourselves. People who are immoral or who worship idols or who are idolaters. Or homosexual, oh, or, or, or what? Or homosexual perverts <laughs> or, will not inherit the kingdom of God. They're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, That's God. what the Bible. How do you interpret that? I don't care about in heaven the kingdom right of God. now. I don't okay, need so to so why do you believe in God? Listen, here's the thing. 
Here's what I think. Said, You're an idiot. She said, I don't need the kingdom of God. Don't, you don't need the kingdom of God. You're in America. I'm That's not right. That is right. Wait. Wait. Okay. How does the, pro how does the, how does the protest um, matter for black and Hispanics in the hood? Because we just lost Hispanics and blacks. Moron. I said in the hood. I said in the hood. The only time white people want to do a... The only thing white people want to do anything for black and Hispanics is when it's on mass media. To make themselves look good. Where was any of this going on for the hundreds of years we've been killing each other? The hundreds of years that the white men been shooting us down. But now that it's just um, um, a mass scale, now you just want to pop out in Times Square. Nigga, go to, go to Buffalo and do that shit. Right. Go to um, Texas and go do that. Right. You want to say... What is you doing in Times Square gonna help the black and Hispanic community? We here because the black and Hispanics is obviously here. Talk about it. Yo, we are doing this for people that are not even allowed to have guns. Where the fuck is your mic? Not even allowed, allowed to have guns. guns. Do not get near me. Back I will up. call the cops that are over you there. You can call the cops. What's your, what's your, um, what's your, um. My problem is that you're being too fucking loud about nonsense. Not about what? Nonsense? nonsense. How is it nonsense? What are you doing? Because this is nonsense? all about male power and bullshit. It's not about male power. It's about black and Hispanic, Native and Indian yeah, power. Yes, it is. Give me your army seven and six. You you go to shut the fuck up. Shut up. We did pay in Buffalo. Shut up. 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 You have crushed my people. You have what? You have, have crushed, crushed my people. people. These people crushed the black and Hispanics. Go ahead. And you robbed in the dirt the faces yeah, of the yeah. poor. Can you you robbed in the dirt the faces of the poor. Niggas talking about this is about male emp empowerment. How is the Bible just about male empowerment? The Bible is about the black and Hispanic, men and female and children empowerment. That's right. Don't get this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Most High God chose the black, Hispanic, Native and Seminole Indian man and woman to be holy and separate to himself. Not just the man, go ahead. Above all people. Above who? Above, above all, all people. people. Above who? Above, above all people. people. You really want to teach empowerment for black and Hispanic? You got to teach them that they're better than everybody else on the face of the earth. That's right. They look better. They dance better. They cook better. They act better. Man. They do everything better. They play sports better. They sing better. They do everything better than everyone on the face of the earth. That's what the black and Hispanics do. And that's what the most high said about his people. That they are above everyone on the face of the earth. And no one is better than them. And that's just facts. Go ahead. Go on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. And that's it. Give me Judah 5. Give me um, Ecclesiastes 7. This is Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The Bible says he likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. How could it be all just male? And this is why this is wrong with the black and Hispanic communities. We swear we know about the Bible. As a people, we swear up and down that we know God and we know the Bible. Y'all niggas don't know nothing about the Bible. That's why you got to come to the, the people who actually teach the Bible and learn it. No, that was it. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Read it again. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. The Bible says that oppression makes a wise man mad. She's like, oh, you're just mad. Why are you so mad? Because the black and Hispanics have been being oppressed for 500 plus years by the same group of people that sit in our face and do that dumbass smile. They walk by you. How you doing, buddy? How's work going? Nigga, you don't care. You and your million, you and your penthouse, you don't care about the black and Hispanic people. Um, give me Lamentations 2 and 15. And give me, um, Judah 5. No, I didn't get them. Judah 5. Yeah, that's enough. Come on. This is Judah 5. Judah 5 and 19, the CEV. But now that... They have turned their back to their God. Um, 
having returned from the place where, also like, I'm gonna start at 20. Now my Lord and master, if this people should slip up and sin against their God, and if we find out about their offense, then we can go up and defeat them. That's the whole point. The, the Bible says that the other nations know that the black and Hispanic sin against their God, they are able to come up and overtake the black and Hispanic communities. But you want to start, you want the black and Hispanics to go vote for people that don't care about us. Biden literally said, vote for me. If you don't vote for me, you're not black. And what did he do when he got in office? Signed the bill for Chinese people. What the f He didn't say, if you don't vote for me, you're not Chinese. What did he sign for black people? And then they say, don't vote for Trump. Both of them niggas is the devil. Right. Both parties, Democrat and Republican, is just a body of devils that just can't see eye to eye on who wants to be more wicked. If one wants to be outgoing and one wants to be um secret. Get Lamentations 2. It's Lamentations 2 and 1. What's like 2 and 15. All the all that pass by clap their hands at thee. Uh -huh. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. They hiss and wag their head, and they clap their hands at us. They look at the black and Hispanic like they just a show. They look at the black and Hispanic people like they're nobodies. Right. But how they put us in, they used to put us in zoos. They used to put us in cages. And have fun sightseeing the black and Hispanics. Like shit is funny. Go ahead, read. Say. And, and, and as a people, we've assimilated our, give me Isaiah 13 and 15. We've assimilated ourselves with their culture. We joined their, um, we joined their Navy forces. We joined their police forces. But joining their forces has not done anything for the black and Hispanic communities. Black people joining the cops. What are the, what is the black cop doing? When the white, when the, um, when the white cop is shooting the black kid. He's sitting there like this. When the white cop is pointing his gun at 12-year-old 12, 12 boys, the black cop is just there, um, ready, right beside master. Right. What are you really doing? This is Exodus 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. The Bible says you're not supposed to follow a multitude to do evil. Multitudes like this is just for the evil of the black and Hispanics. Literally. Cause it doesn't listen. It doesn't matter how how much laws you try to institute. The white man is gonna have a gun either way. The white man is not gonna stop fighting for his gun. Go to the south and try to tell one of them niggas in Carolina they can't have a gun. Please, y'all go do that. Go do that over there. Exactly. They gonna start a whole nother civil war. Cause they not messing with it. You not gonna tell a white man you cannot have a gun. That's his Second Amendment right that he's built his life upon. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not reading it. God. Uh, Isaiah, this is Isaiah 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone? Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone? Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone? Everyone thrust through. The Bible said everyone that is found hand in hand with their oppressor is going to be thrust through. And that's thus saith the Most High God. That's right. Everybody want to be joined hand in hand with their oppressor. Hand in, give me, um... And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Shall do what? Shall fall by the sword. They gonna fall by the sword. You wanna walk with the white man to try to push his agenda? This is not even a black man's agenda. The black man is just randomly in Times Square and they see a bunch of white people crowded up. Hey, let me go see what the white people are on. Let me go see what the white people are doing. They don't care. But when you see a group of black and Hispanic people, black people don't think, you know what? Let me go see what my brothers are doing. Let me go see what my people, the people that actually love me, are doing. But you want to go to your oppressor and go see what they doing. Go ahead, read. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. Be what? Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. And that's the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible is not some sissy-ass, homophobe. The Most High is a terrible God. The God that killed the whole world and left eight people. The God that destroyed the Egyptians as a nation. The God that destroyed the Babylonians, the um, the um, the Persian and Medes. This is that God. This is not no uh, loving everybody God. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. I got it right here. It's Isaiah 54 verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, 
lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed, thy, like, thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. Thy what? Thy seed thy shall inherit, inherit the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. What did God say? Thy, thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. The Most High God said that the Israelite seed are going to possess the white man. They're going to possess the Asian man, the East Indian man. That's what the God of the Bible is saying. But everybody wants to say that God loves everybody. But the God of the Bible hates people. The God of the Bible wants people to go into slavery. This is Psalm 2 and verse 8. Ask your feet and I shall... What's your, what's your shirt saying? It says teachers teach, teach guns, kill. guns kill. That's true. Um, I was wondering if you might just let them sing. And, and when sing for done, what? Sing for what? They're singing for God. And for they're singing for God? Peace. Yeah. And okay, for they're peace. singing for God. Give me, give, me, give me Jeremiah 9 and 8, please. Give me Jeremiah nine. Again, give me uh, Jeremiah eight and eleven. Go. Ahead. No! Wait, Jeremiah eight and eleven and Jeremiah nine. Because the, the white, you can't tell us to shut lower it down because they want to sing about. God. They're not even watching the God of the Bible. But you want me to be quiet because they want to um sing about God. What God are they singing to? Because the God, the God that they sing to is not the God of the Bible. The God they sing to is a God that loves homosexuality and loves a people, a nation that has oppressed the black and Hispanic um people. That has been trespassing on the black and Hispanic property. This is Isaiah 30 and verse um Salakim. Verse 10. No, 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 no. no. As Isaiah 30 and verse 10. They tell the prophets to keep quiet. What, what do they do? They tell the prophets to keep quiet. What did that white woman just do? They tell the prophets to keep quiet. The Most High God didn't know about this. She literally said, they tell the prophets to keep quiet. She's coming over here. Can you lower it down because they're trying to sing about God. We're teaching about God. Why are you going to tell me to stop teaching about God so you can sing about God? A God that's not even the God of the Bible. Go ahead. They say, don't talk to us about what is right. They say what? They say, don't talk to us about what is right. You know what is right? That black and Hispanics get their true reparation. That's right. You know what's right? That black and Hispanics have strong communities within one another. That's you know right. what's right? That the black and Hispanic communities are not influenced in homosexuals That's every right. same day. That's what's right. But they tell the prophets, don't teach us what's right. Go ahead. Tell us what we want to hear. Do what? Tell us what we want to hear. That's what they want to hear. They want us to tell them what they want to hear. That's why you go to a Christian church. Because they tell you them smooth words. Yeah, you could be a homosexual. Yeah, you can come as you are. God is going to love you anyway. No, he's not. Go ahead. Let us keep our illusion. Let us what? Let us keep our illusion. That's the whole spiel right there. They all want to keep their illusions. They're singing about a God that's not in the Bible. Get out of our way and stop blocking our path. What? Get out of our way and stop blocking our path. The Bible is literally saying thousands of years ago what y'all niggas are going to do today. The white nigga came up, yo, leave, leave. They say, get out and stop blocking our path. That's what they say. Keep it now, keep it. Oh, I got Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 9 and 8. Their tongue is as an arrow shot out. The Bible says their tongue is as an arrow shot out. Go ahead. And it speaketh deceit. It does what? It speaketh deceit. It, it speaks deceit. What did they come with the Native Americans with? Oh. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, we're human beings. Yeah, we can be one. We can be a people. And then what happened? A genocide happened. And then they brought black and Hispanics over here as a cargo, um, as like cattle. Nice. Items. Stocks, imports, that's what, that's what black and Hispanic are to the white man. Imports and exports. That's what the black Hispanic so-called human beings that you guys want to say today were to your ancestors. The ancestors that left everything for y'all. Because the white man don't really love black people. That's right. I want one white person to really show me they love black people. There's no way you can show me you love a nation while trespassing on their land. Look at this hillbilly. Look at trespassing on a white man, on the um, Native Americans. Man. That's right. Smiling shit like everything's funny. Hold on, hold on. This Exodus 23 and 2. Jeremiah 8 and 11. For they have healed, have healed the hurt of the daughters of my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace. You say what? Peace, peace. When there is no peace. What does the Bible say? There is no peace. What does the Bible say? There is no peace. The Bible said they say peace, peace when there is no peace. But 
you gonna come tell me to be quiet because they want to sing about peace? That's what they say. The Bible says they're gonna come and say peace, peace, but there's no peace. Because what do they do? They further um oppress and trespass on the black and Hispanic communities. They kill the black and Hispanic young, they kill our children in our prime. That's what the Bible says. Good. This is Jeremiah 10 and verse 8. But they are also brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanity. The, the what? The stock is a doctrine of vanity. Everything that they believe is a doctrine of vanities. It's a it's a strong delusion. Give me a second Thessalonians um 2 and 11. It's just a strong delusion to think that oh, God loves trans people. God don't not God does not love homosexuals. Bring it up! God is gonna kill homosexuals. Give me Second Chronicles 11 and um no 15 and 13. Because these people obviously don't know the Bible and all oh, praises and don't know the word of God. They don't know the word of God. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this, God shall send them strong delusion. If you want dumbass shit like this, the most are gonna send them strong delusion. Go ahead. That they should believe a lie. That they should what? Believe a lie. And so that they should believe a lie. Oh. That's what, that's what um, the most I have given the white man, a strong delusion. And the black and Hispanics, I want to follow the white man. Because how can you, how can you honestly sit in, in my face and tell me that you love black people and native and Seminole Indian people if you trespass on their property? <laughs> I don't get it. If I went to all your houses and sat on your couch and kicked my feet up, and started drinking your water and killing and killing your wife and killing your children. Y'all not gonna tell me you love me? I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I love you. I'm, I'm just chilling in your crib right now. You're not gonna believe me? This is why black and Hispanic gotta separate from these people. Give me uh, uh, Cyrax 6 and 13. This is Proverbs 30 and 12 in the, in the GNT. There are people who think they are pure when they are as filthy as they can be. So what? They are filthy as they can be. The Bible says it's people that think they are pure, but they're as filthy as they can be. The white man is as filthy as they can be. And they're not even white. All of them niggas, all of them niggas is red. Go ahead. Verse 14. There are people who take cruel advantage of the poor and the need. Of the what? Of the poor and the need. What does the Chinese man do? They go in the hoods and establish community and establish um stores in the hood of black and Hispanics. What does the white man do? Grant them loans, give them um opportunities to be able to uh, uh, to be able to uh, prosper off the poor and the needy. That's all America is. America is literally for of for the detriment of black and Hispanics. That's it. They don't care about black and Hispanic people at all. This is verse 15. A leech has two daughters, and both their names are give me. That, that's what, listen, that, the white man is a leech. That's what the white man is. And that's what all the other nations are. They're just leeches that leech off the black and Hispanics. And they just want the black and Hispanics to give, give, give. Because what are black people? The top consumers in America. The top consumers in the world. And what do they sell to black and Hispanic communities? Amiri's, Balenciaga's, Montclair, all these dumbass shits that anybody can make. But they want and they target the black and Hispanic because you don't see, you do not see white people rocking Amiri jeans, Balenci's, Montclair's. Nigga, them niggas be wearing the, the big ass baggy shit. Ain't nobody wearing that shit. They be wearing Skechers. Second Chronicles 15 and verse 13. That whosoever would not seek Yahweh. God of Israel, so the Bible said, if you don't seek the God of Israel, not the God that you just believe in out of your head, not the God that you just made up, the God of Christianity, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, the sovereign, powerful Lord, go ahead, should be put to death. You what? Should, should be, be put, put to, to death. death. Should be what? Should, should be, be put, put to, to death. death. The Bible says homosexuals are going to be put to death. That's right. Give me that when it gets 2013. This is, oh. This is Romans 1 and 25. It's a black woman. It's a black woman. Because you know that we just older, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Romans, look, 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 this is what they, look. <laughs> they got a black woman singing. Why? It says they clapped their hands at us and hissed at us and whack at us. Because we're just an astonishment to them. We're just, they just use us like a leech for our um 
our abilities. That's all they use the black and Hispanic for, for our abilities. Literally, the NFL, they make money off of what? The black and Hispanic abilities. They make money off the NBA from the black and Hispanic's abilities. The MB, um, MLB, <laughs> soccer, badminton, tennis, swimming, all of these sports, all of these entertainments off of the black and Hispanic abilities. But black people want to go join hand in hand with the same people that's been raping, robbing, and murdering our people. That's been living off the, off the, um, oppression of black people. This nigga's like 80 years old. This nigga done lived past, um, when we was getting, still getting lynched. Right. Why is this nigga here? But you want to smile at the white man face when he give you a little ass smile in a grocery store. How you doing? Meanwhile, he's on your ancestors' land, able to buy in that grocery store. That's because right. your ancestors were killed and raped and murdered. Go ahead. Psalm 137 and verse 3 For there they carried us away captive Required of us a song What did it say? Required, required of us a song. song They carried us captive And required us a song You gonna put this dumbass shit And they had the black woman singing That's the bible has been speaking about this For hundreds of years Good And they, they that wasted us Required us a, required, up, required of us mercy. saying Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Do what? Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How, how shall we sing a Howard song in a strange land? How are we gonna sing a song in a strange land? But they were quiet of black. Let's keep going. They were quiet of black and Hispanics to sing in their churches, to be their choir leaders, to be the people that's gonna be to sing in their sermons. That's what they want the black and Hispanics for, because they want our ability. They want to use and abuse us as a people, but they don't care about us. The white man does not That's care about right. the black and Hispanics. They don't. They don't care about you, they never did, and they never will. You look me right in the eyes, try to tell me a lie. You got too much pride. Lately I've been thinking and meditating. Scripture keep me straight, but I'm always keeping tabs on some shit. I've been watching all your actions and shit. Hey, I try to be like Malachi 3 and 6.